Altruistic service is a strange process you may have noticed in your task manager consuming a lot of CPU power. In this video, I will explain why it is malicious, where it came from and how to remove it from your system. First and foremost, let's sort out its status. None of the non-legitimate programs create or use such a service. Windows lacks one as well, so it cannot be a system process. These facts are accompanied by the fact that by user reports, Altrustic SAP creates significant CPU load, up to 80%. That is a typical behavior of coin mining malware. Now let's find out how this malware appeared. Most of the time, coin miners infiltrate as a part of cracked software. Another popular way is through dropper malware that is already active on your computer. Droppers are stealthy malware that function with only one purpose – malware delivery. You can get infected with one through an email spam link, fake program installer or a similar shady thing. If you have recently interacted with a thing like what I've shown or mentioned on the video, be sure that the malware did not appear out of nowhere. Well, now let's discuss how to remove the altruistic service wires. For manual removal, I would say it is not a great idea, as the malware backs itself with several Windows settings. As a result, attempts of it manual removal, namely stopping the process from the desk manager, will cause a blue screen of death. Also, other malicious programs may reside in your system because of the aforementioned spreading ways that are shared with other malware. For that reason, I recommend using Gridin Soft Anti Malware for scanning and removing all the paths from your system. I will put the downloading link to the video description. Before using Gridin Soft Anti Malware, I also recommend switching the system to safe mode with networking. It restricts non system processes from starting up on the system startup, so the malicious miner will not overload the system. Click the reboot button while holding your shift button. Then, on the recovery screen, go to Troubleshoot and Startup Settings. On the next screen, press the 5 button to load into the safe mode with networking. With that being said and done, let's start the scan. I recommend running a full scan, as it will check even the most remote areas of your disks. It may take up to 10 minutes, but you will be sure nothing is missed. As you can see, it has already detected the malware, so let's give it a bit more time to finish. Well, now the scan is over. Click the Clean Now button to wipe all the detected elements all at once. This may also take some time when there are a lot of detections. And now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.